Are you okay? You nearly gave me a heart attack. Are you sure you've never used a Legion before? You're already way better at it than Max. <laughs> I'm standing right here, Alicia. <sighs> but I gotta admit, that was something. Damn thing moved like it was a part of your body. Okay. Copy that. Understood. Well, that seems to be all of them. We'd better get back to HQ. All right. You two are coming with us. I'll try to explain all this later. I've been waiting for you. You two have been chosen to join our special task force, Neuron. We've already cleared your transfers from criminal affairs. This is an order from the Union itself. Consider it a promotion you can't turn down. An order from the Union. 
wait, wait a minute, Commander. I'm still the captain around here. And these two... They're my kids. You couldn't have run this by me before? Desperate times, Max. Captain or not, surely you understand the position humankind is in. I understand how you must feel. But I need you to be... flexible. Ah, shit. Well then, I'll give you the short explanation. As you know, humanity faces the very real threat of extinction. Most believe this is due to mass corruption from the gates. But the truth is, there are worse dangers, which the Union finds prudent to keep classified. Dangers from beyond the gates. Invaders from a dimension outside our own. Chimeras like the ones you've just seen for the first time. They're invisible to the naked eye, but they cast a dimensional shadow in certain circumstances. That's how we were able to detect them in the first place. But still, we were powerless to stop them. <sighs> Meanwhile, the Chimeras dragged countless victims back to their dimension. Their corruption tainted the land itself. With most of the planet uninhabitable, we survivors fled here, to this artificial island we call the Ark. We thought we were safe, and we were for a while. But as you know all too well, it didn't last. At this rate, all of humankind will be pulled into the Chimera's dimension. We're facing down the end of the world, but I refuse to accept such a fate for our species. Through blood, sweat, and years of research, we finally made it. The ultimate counter-chimeric weapon. By neurologically sinking captured chimeras with human operators, we established control and made powerful allies. I'm referring, of course, to the legions. The legions gave you your first look at the dangers we truly face, but also a taste of the pinnacle of human ingenuity. But of course, not just anyone can use them. Only a precious few people have the natural faculties to synchronize with the legion. People like you. I'm sure this is a lot for you to process right now, but... Your species needs you. Your species chose you. The two of you hold the future of humankind in your hands. We're counting on you. And now, I hand you over to him. Well, it's been a while, huh? Your dad told me you'd join the police, but uh, I never imagined we'd see you here in Neuron. But growing up with Max around, it's no surprise you turned out tough. Now that you guys are here, let me officially welcome you to the team. Oh, you should have seen Max's face when he found out you were coming. But between us, I think he's happy you're here. There's only five of us right now, but there are more candidates waiting for the ARI to make more legions. I know the commander talks a lot of gloom and doom, but relax. More help is on the way. Uh, eventually. Anyway, first things first. It's time to get to know your legion. There's a training room downstairs. We'll go there and work on your fundamentals. I'll call the others. Huh. Max isn't picking up. Uh, do me a favor and get him and Alicia for me, will you? I bet you'll find him up on the roof. I'll head downstairs and set up the training room. See you there in a bit. Oh, that's right. Open up the menu in your Legatus and you'll find a map of the station. 
Might come in handy if you get lost. Jin hasn't changed a bit, has he? How long has it been since we last saw him? Two years? Hey, remember when Dad was in the hospital and Jin came to take care of us? His cooking wasn't the greatest, but... But when you think about it, Jin's always been there for us. We gotta find some way to make it up to him. Thank you for looking. See you again real soon.
You guys need something? Um, Jin was trying to reach you earlier, Dad. He told us to bring you down to the training room. Uh-huh. So that's the call you ignored earlier. So, what's the matter, Dad? <laughs> Look, if I've never changed your diapers, you don't get to call me Dad. And neither do you, Akira. Just keep it professional. It's Captain here. I'm sure Jin can handle your training on his own. But there's nothing I can teach you that he can't. Aw, he's just acting tough. You guys know he's just worried sick about you, right? Alicia, why do you keep doing that? Um... What? Considering we're gainfully employed adults, shouldn't our captain take more responsibility for us than our father? Ugh. <laughs> it's gonna be fun having you guys around. Anyway, you two report to Jin for your training. T tell him I'm... I'm busy. That goes for me, too. Sorry. But make sure Jin teaches you a lot, okay? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am? You don't have to keep it that professional. I mean, we're all on the same team now, after all. Yes, ma'am. I mean, thanks. Alicia seems nice, and she sure seems to get along well with Dad. I mean, the captain. Seeing him here with Jin and Alicia, it's a side of him I've never seen before. It feels weird. There you are. Ready to train? Wait, where's the captain and Alicia? Oh, they, uh, the captain said you could handle it. Uh, that guy's more sensitive than he looks. Oh, well, that's not a bad thing, I guess. All right, I'll run you through the basics. Before we continue, strap this thing on your back. Great, looks like it fits. That's your legatus cradle. Neuron regulations say to keep your legatus stowed in that cradle when you're not out in the field. And here's your integrated reality imaging system, Iris. You'll forget how you ever cracked cases without it. All right, let's start with an easy one. Point your iris at the computer terminal over there. Find it okay? All right, now boot up the terminal and try out a training program. It's a self-guided routine, so you can skip over anything you don't think you need to cover. Information display. <gasps> Information 
try out a training display. program. Let's begin. Okay. Attack the enemy with your legion. Your legion will attack automatically if you send it out or get it close to a target. for this program. What's next? That'll do for today. like it's time for your first assignment. I'll go on ahead, and don't keep us all waiting, guys. It figures we'd even get transferred to a new department together. It feels kind of weird to be saying this to my own brother, but, well, I gotta say, it's nice working with you. It's gonna take a while to get used to all this, but I'm sure we can show Dad that we're up to it. If we work hard, I know he'll come around in no time. Everyone's here. Let's begin. The police in Central City, in Zone 36, have requested our help with a case. About an hour ago, an unusually large number of gates opened up along Grand Avenue. A lot of gates means a lot of redshift. The local police are doing the best they can to handle the aberrations. But again, we're looking at way more gates than usual. To say they have their hands full is an understatement. Gates don't just appear like this without a chimera around somewhere. Not in these numbers. There are only five people on the Ark who stand a chance against chimeras, and they're all in this room. That's why the regular police need your help. Get out there, find the chimera, and take it down! I'll let the captain fill you in on the operational parameters. Roger. We don't know what this chimera is capable of yet. You'll have your legions with you, but still, keep your guard up. 
But don't forget, we can't risk letting any of you go through the gate after it either. Do whatever you can on this side, okay? That is all. You're on. Move out. Roger. Roger. here. Let's get something straight. We don't know what the hell we're gonna find out there. Okay, first things first. We'll meet up with the police and get as much info as we can. If we happen to meet our mystery chimera, you leave it to me, Alicia, and Jin. Got it? Roger. Roger. Hey, you two. I can't hear you. Well... Jin already put us through the training, so I thought maybe we could... No way! You two are to gather information. No heroics. Captain's orders. Is that clear? But... Hey, come on now. Maybe the captain is a teensy bit overprotective. But you're new, and if you bite off more than you can chew, we're all in trouble. It's the right call. Roger, Captain. Okay, great. All right, Neuron, let's roll. Let's get to work. Listen up. We've got nothing to go on right now except that our perp is probably a chimera. If it is, we need to know as much as we can before we engage. Time to look for clues. You know what that means. Iris is on, people. First, let's see if the security cameras caught anything useful. Check their hologram playback. survivors took any corruption home with them. Otherwise, we'll be dealing with a lot of redshift. Shut down. 
Lucky there weren't more victims. We better find that Chimera before our luck runs out. We call that red matter. Solid corruption. It's all around us, and thanks to the Legion, now you can see it. Your Legion can clean it up for you. Go on, try it out. say this isn't a human handprint. So if it's a Camaro we're after, it's one with giant hands. get a word out of those local cops. They're afraid it's gonna look bad if we solve a case on their turf. Luckily, the Legion can help out here, too. Send it over by them and see if they say anything interesting. Got enough clues yet? Come on back and let's talk them out. Iris, shut down. There you are. Looks like you've gathered plenty of information. But let's see how well you grasp the situation. Investigative ability is important, even for Neuron, so don't expect me to go easy on you. What can you tell me about the physical characteristics of the Chimera that caused this mess? Come on, that was a warm-up. I know you saw that great big handprint. Great big handprint? means great big hands. So why'd the Chimera come here? Sightseeing, or do you have a better guess? Right. People don't just get sucked into gates all on their own. That's a Chimera's job. 
So that's everything we know. Now comes the hard part. Iris is startup. There's no doubt we're dealing with a chimera here. A chimera with giant hands shows up, wrecks the bridge, grabs a civilian, and takes him somewhere. Lucky for us, chimeras tend to leave behind tracks that legions can find. Iris, Rookies, shut down. finding those tracks is your job. Got it? You remember the giant handprint you found? Go see if your legion can find anything over there. to look around that giant handprint. Something ought to turn up. You've got the trail. Now follow it. Check this out. The track splits in two directions. Could there be more than one Chimera? All right, looks like we'll have to split up. We'll take these, you and Akira follow the ones through the parking garage. really bad around here. 